Just in case you hadn't noticed, the OHL is back, baby. How do I know this as we approach the quarter pole of the season? Well, it seems we are settling into our old junior hockey routines, and there are those among us who are looking to stir that pot. Take, for example, last week, a fellow broadcaster pointing out on Twitter that since London Knights general manager Mark Hunter made a phone call to the league offices, suddenly the Knights are getting more power play opportunities. Now, it was, in fact, about power plays that Mark Hunter made that call to the league offices, but I got to tell you, when you look at the numbers, the man has a point. The first six home games the London Knights played this year, they had 14 power play opportunities. Their opposition had 28. Even I can do that math over the first six games at Budweiser Gardens. The Knights' opposition had twice as many power play opportunities as the home team. Meantime, on the road, the ledger was split right down the middle. The Knights had 20 power plays. They killed 20 penalties. So the numbers certainly are a curiosity, and maybe you would want to make an inquiry about it. What makes it conspiratorial is the very next game following that phone call, the Knights got seven power play opportunities to their opposition's two. In fact, the opposition in that particular game took the first five penalties of the game. Look, as was pointed out to me by a former referee also on social media, he said, if the league office tried to put pressure on me about how to call a game, my response would have been to, well, bleep off. He said, if any official really cares about the game, they're going to call it square, unless they don't care about their job. So let's just think about this for a minute. Can a phone call from a general manager to the league office really influence how the officials call the game? Do you really believe that could be the case? Because if you do, I think you're getting into conspiracy theory territory. Really, the bigger question for me is why a general manager would even want to call the league offices about this. Yes, the numbers are curious, but the call you should be making is to your team. Hey guys, try taking fewer penalties on home ice. That's the call I'd be making. I'm Farwell. It's Friday. See you at the rink.